Oh yeah, folks, get ready because the DJI Osmo 360 is shaping up to be a game changer and I've got all the juicy leaks and specs for you right here. If you're a creator, vlogger, or just someone who loves capturing those mind-blowing 360 degree moments, buckle up. This might be the camera you didn't know you desperately needed. So first off, shout out to Igor Bogdanov who dropped some seriously exciting images of the DJI Osmo 360. What caught my eye immediately? The camera isn't just sitting there on a typical selfie stick. Nope, it's mounted on a thick, sturdy grip that looks more like a battery extension or maybe some kind of super durable handheld stick. Honestly, it gives off serious built for action vibes. And guess what? This grip might actually charge the camera wirelessly while you're recording. Oh man, that's next level convenience. No more frantic battery swaps mid-shoot. How awesome is that? Now, let's talk about the camera itself because DJI is stepping up the game with this one. The Osmo 360 rocks a dual lens setup. And here's the kicker. One lens faces forward to capture your epic surroundings while the other shoots your face at the same time. Oh yeah, imagine the reaction shots and vlogs you can make without worrying about pesky reframing. It's like your audience gets the full story from both angles simultaneously. Pure magic for storytelling. For all you slow-mo lovers, the specs will make you go, whoa. The 360 mode can shoot in stunning 6K resolution at 60 frames per second. And if you want silky smooth slow motion, it does 4K at a whopping 100 frames per second. That means crisp, immersive video with buttery slow motion to highlight those jaw-dropping moments. If that's not enough, there's also a single lens mode with 4K at 120 frames per second and a super wide 170 degree field of view. DJI is clearly aiming for versatility here, from ultra wide epic scenes to sharp detailed close-ups. Battery life? Oh no, DJI didn't mess around. Without the grip, you get about 100 minutes of runtime, which is decent. But slap that battery grip on and you're looking at a massive 180 minutes of continuous 8K recording at 30 FPS. That's three hours of nonstop capturing. I don't know about you, but that takes a huge worry off my mind when I'm out on an all day adventure or a busy shoot. And those control buttons on the grip, perfect for quick adjustments on the fly. No fumbling around with menus while you're trying to catch the perfect shot. Pure joy for creators who want to stay in the moment. Now, hold on to your hats because the software DJI plans to pack in here sounds downright smart. We're talking AI-driven smart subject tracking and auto framing. Basically, the camera can keep your subject locked and perfectly framed without you lifting a finger. Plus, the multi-mode recording and auto-synced dual lens feeds mean you spend less time editing and more time sharing your awesome content. DJI is pushing a workflow mantra here. Shoot, sync, share, and I'm here for it. Whether you're into vlogs, action sports, or travel videos, this camera could seriously speed up your post-production time. <laughs> Happy dance time. Oh, and accessories? Yep, those are coming too. The grip stick we saw might be part of a new adventure bundle, and it could work hand in hand with other DJI gear, like the Mic 3 transmitter. Talk about a creator's dream setup. But when can we get our hands on this beauty? While DJI hasn't confirmed anything yet, leaks and FCC filings hint at a late Q3 to early Q4 2025 release, so not too far off. The adventure or creator bundle with the grip and extra goodies might sit in the 699 to 749 range. Honestly, if the specs and features hold true, that price seems like a steal for what you're getting. So what's the bottom line here? The DJI Osmo 360 looks like it's going to blend action camera ruggedness with full 360 capture freedom, paired with smart tech that makes shooting and editing smoother than ever. It might just be DJI's smartest, most creator-friendly camera yet. Oh yes, I'm buzzing with excitement already. Are you feeling that same hype? Because I'm here counting down the days, ready to dive into those immersive, epic dual view vlogging. Oh man, the creative possibilities are endless. All right, tell me, what's the first crazy scene you'd shoot with the DJI Osmo 360? Drop your thoughts and let's geek out together. 
let's talk about DJI Mic 3. Boom. Hakasushi noticed something no one caught at first. Wait, where's the lav mic input? That's right. The Mic 3 doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter lav mic input on the transmitter. None. Zero. Zilch. Come on now, creators. React. For pros who rely on lav mics for discreet underclothing placement or cleaner close mic sound, this is a deal breaker. Like, are you serious? No way. You've got to be kidding me. Without that port, you're forced to rely only on the built-in mic, which is fine for casual setups, but nowhere near ideal for weddings, interviews, or pro shoots. Sure, there's a mic grill on top of the transmitter so it can still record, and it'll likely sound decent, but not being able to plug in your own mic, that's like buying a fancy camera and not being able to change the lens. Leaking its way online like a surprise guest you didn't know you were expecting. But here's the twist, it might not be what everyone hoped for. Some will love it, others, well, let's just say you might be screaming seriously by the end of this. Here comes the DJI Mic 3. Now the shocking part, DJI Mic 3 leaks reveal a big oops. Cue the Mic 3 leak and here's where things get real. FCC documents dropped along with images and early details from trusted leakers like Jasper Ellens and Igor Bogdanov, giving us a peek at DJI's next wireless mic system. At first glance, it looked sleek. A new squircle-shaped display on the receiver, redesigned charging case, and ultra-compact size DJI Mic 2. Then came the DJI Mic 2, and oh boy, did it turn the volume up to 11. Let me tell you, 32-bit float recording check, insanely good noise cancellation. Double check, battery life and sleek charging case, yes please, even played nice with third-party lavalier mics. Well, kinda. So, redesigned vloggers, filmmakers, and professionals, the Mic 2 is the better choice. More flexible, more options, more pro-ready. Some users had issues with certain lav mics not working properly, especially ones that required extra juice. But overall, the Mic 2 was in quote. Professionals loved it, vloggers swore by it, and DJI had finally built something that felt ready for prime time. Right now, the DJI Mic 2 retails around 329 bucks, and it's earned that price tag with performance and features. The Mic 3 is expected to land between 249 to 329 bucks, which makes sense given its stripped down approach. If it comes in closer to 249, it could still be a solid deal for casual users or those new to wireless audio. But if it hits the high end of that range, <laughs> no lav input and premium pricing, that's a tough sell. If you're a vlogger who records walk and talks, records something simple, compact, and hassle free, then the DJI Mic 3 might work for you if you're cool with using the built-in mic only. But if you want permitted to use a lav mic, more flexibility for interviews, sit-downs, and indoor work, then go for the DJI Mic 2. Yes, it's a bit pricier, but it's totally worth it for what you get.